what it looks like. I do that for uh, probably another hour after lunch, too. I'd say in a given week, I probably only do about 15 minutes of legal, actual work. Uh, Peter, would you be a good sport and indulge us and just... All right, so basically, uh, oh, yeah. found out how to do this on YouTube. I looked at about 10 different clips, maybe 20. And I'm um, not an engineer or nothing, just going on clips off of YouTube. I figured it out. Uh, I'll put the two, uh, I'll put the two uh, clips that I got it from in my description. Uh, basically, it's an Altoid box. I just cut a hole right here. I got uh, two 9 volts. And in the video I'll post, watch those two videos before you uh, watch this. And you'll be able to understand this pretty easy. So basically I put two 9 volts because one wasn't enough. So I had to put two of them. Um, I got three little boards. Three small little boards so it can fit in the Altoid box. You put it on one board, it doesn't fit. And then I hooked them up with wires. See how you can maneuver them? So three little boards. This first board right here is uh, basically the 5 volt regulator. And this is called a heat sink. I got this from Fry's. Uh, everything else I got from Radio Shack. But the heat sink, I got it from Fry's and sell it there. Uh, the board, too, I got an empty board and just broke it up. Three different little pieces. Here's right here are also the, the capacitors. And this little board right here is the resistor and it hooks up to the USB. And these little things, once you solder them on together, you just fit them in there snug. And go ahead and plug in the USB. Plug it in here. Boom, you got yourself a nice little charger. Uh, just remember I'm not an engineer. And just take a look at the two videos I post in my description. I'll tell you how to do this. But my version, I got two 9 volts. Um, I got three little boards. One board just a fiber regular with the heat sink. Another board I got capacitor. Other board I got the uh, resistors that hook up directly to the USB. Okay, thank you.